And an archaeological dig on Big Talbot Island is giving students at the University of North Florida the chance to get their hands dirty while at the same time uncovering some lost First Coast history. Since they began in August, that group has already found a number of buried artifacts from a Native American village that once stood on the island. Here's On Your Side's David Jones with an inside look. We really want to get the kind of indigenous picture, so archaeology, I think, helps us to really get an on-the-ground look at their way of life. Uncovering the lost history of Northeast Florida by hand. Everyone probably hears about the French and the Spanish and early Calford and all of those types and part of Jacksonville history, but there's a history that extends back thousands of years before that. UNF Archaeology Lab Director Dr. Keith Ashley leading the mission to learn about the village of Sarabay, once home to a group of Mokama Timucua Native Americans. The Timucua lived all along the first coast. Cerebay was a village that was occupied when the French arrived in 1565 and then we know that it was still here when the Spanish started missionization in 1587 and probably into the early decade of the 1600s. The goal of the dig is to map out the village and understand its people. It's a settlement mentioned in both French and Spanish texts from the mid 1500s and since they started digging they've already found a lot of artifacts. You can see the design there, that's a corn cob imprint. We have both the indigenous wear that we expect to find in the late 1500 into the mission period, and we have pieces of, a uh, few pieces of European pottery. Ashley says the First Coast had indigenous occupations on and off for the past 1500 years, but our understanding is through a European lens, which makes these digs so important. Sometimes people think they were just uh, sitting by the salt marsh fishing and that's all they really did. And we know that they're involved in politics, they're involved in long distance interactions, they're involved in really daily activities. The university says they're planning for four years of field work in the area. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.